So now that we have all of this content inside our board, how do we make this board unique to you? There's a number of ways to organize and customize this board. Let's start with our cover image. Across the top, you'll see you can edit your header and add an image. So we're going to browse our images. We're going to go back to our exercise files, boards, inspiration, cover photo, and we're going to add this cover photo. Once your image is loaded, you can move the image around. You can blur the image. You can adjust the opacity of the overlay. And you can even choose where you would like this image to stop on your board. We're just going to leave it at the default. And then press the checkbox to confirm your changes. You can also set the layout. To do that, you'll come to the grid. You can choose from masonry, meticulous, which gives you a little more hard edges to the masonry layout. Or you can even use a basic grid. We're going to choose grid. The other thing that you can do with a board is create a section. To create a section, just click the plus icon above your content. You can name this section, we'll call this one goals. You can optionally describe it. And you can even add content directly into a section. We're going to click return. And we're going to add a few more sections below. We'll call this images. Here's some images for inspiration. Click return. And we could even move this section up to the top. So now that we have a few sections, we can start putting our content into them. The easiest way to do that is to command click the content that you'd like to add to a section. And then move it to the section that you'd like to include it in. Move it to images. We have goals. So I'm going to move my goals note by clicking and dragging it to the top. But we should add a few other content sections. Say documents and downloads, and then colors. Great. Command click the content that you'd like to add to a section. And we'll move these around to where they need to go. Now let's organize where we want these sections to live. So we obviously want to start with our goals. So we can actually click the move a section up to move it to the top. And we can even span this note across the entire board. We can also adjust how big each of these inspirational blocks become. Move this up a section. And if you ever wanted to zoom out to see how your board's coming together, you can do so on the bottom right of the page. We have a zoom out toggle, which you can pull all the way back and actually move the content around. And it's important to note that these boards do refresh in real time. So if you're working together on a board, they'll actually see these changes happen in real time. The X, and we're brought back to our actual board. So that's how easy it is to adjust the layout of a board and make it a little bit more custom to your needs.